frames. Now everything you place within InDesign will be required to be within a frame. Now a frame is a container that will hold all the graphic elements and the text elements within your document. Here are the frames. You have a rectangular frame, an ellipse frame, and a polygon frame tool. Remember to get the pop-up, you hold your mouse button down on the cursor or on the uh, tool you wish to activate. I'm going to select rectangle frame and simply draw a couple of shapes. Notice they're not all square, they can be thin rectangles, tall rectangles, etc, etc. Now, I can put these anywhere in my document. Notice they are also not following or constrained by the guidelines. You can place them anywhere you like. And once they're there, I can actually click and start typing in them if I want. Or I could select one and resize. So they're not limited to where the guides are. The guides are exactly what they say. Guides, they're to help you lay things out if you want to use them or not. Say, for example, if I delete these ones, I'm just selecting them all by dragging a marquee around them and pressing delete. I could resize this frame. As this is now a text frame, because I selected the text tool and clicked on it and started typing, I can actually fill it by right clicking. I can go fill with placeholder text. So it fills a load of gobbledygook text in there so I can experiment to see what things may look like. So, for example, I can put it down to one layer. Now, we also have circular frames. So we can do circle frames. Again, these can actually hold text or graphics. So for example, if I select my type tool, click within one of the frames, I'm going to right click it again and fill with placeholder text. There we go. You have to have text within a circle. Again, you can alter the way they look. I'm going to delete delete, delete. Now, if I hold shift key down on the circle tool, you'll get a perfect circle, or circle frame tool, sorry. If I do it with the alt and shift key selected, it will expand from the center point. Okay? From where I clicked, it will expand outwards. If I, if I don't Hold down the OK, look, it expands from the corner point or spreads outwards to where you drag. All frames can be readjusted later, can be deleted, linked, etc. But that's in the next part of about frames. Now, polygon frame tool does what it says, it will draw a polygon. But you might want more sides or less sides. So if you double click it, you can set the number of sides. So, so for example, I'm going to put 10. There we go. Let's change it to 10. If you don't have it selected, the frame, double click, say put it to 8, it will not alter that frame. But the next frame you draw will alter. So again, if you have a frame selected and you change its options, 12, it will alter that one. Now, some of you may have noticed the star insert. So let's do a classic five-sided or five-pointed star, uh, 45% on the star insert. That's how deep the prongs go or the points of the star are. I'm holding my shift key down when I draw this, so I get a perfectly unilateral star. And there we go, a star. Again, that can contain a graphic or a or text rather. So that's frames how they're used, and how you add them to your document. Next up, we'll look at how to place graphics and how to place text within frames, or how to place text and graphics before actually entering frames and putting frames within a document.